Hey YouTube, so it's been probably a week or so since I've done a video. Um, I need to catch up with you guys. I've been so crazy busy with just everything. So first thing I should say is thank you, thank you, thank you all of you who watched and commented my last video about creepy people on scrapbook channels. That's just crazy weird, but I got, oh my gosh, I don't even know how many comments probably 50, 60, or more comments, and each comment was like a paragraph long, and I read every single one, and I'm so glad that I'm, you guys don't think I'm overreacting, and how I had to get a new Facebook, and all that stuff, I just don't want to take the chance, so, um, I'm hoping I can respond to every single one of you, but there's just so many comments, I've already read like every single one, like at least two times, um, so thank you, thank you guys for being on the same page as me and understanding that I just got to be safer about my Facebook and YouTube. So I do have a new Facebook, you guys, please add me. Um, this is, this Facebook is specifically for you guys and all of my scrapbook friends, even if you don't follow me on YouTube. Um, so people on Scrapyard, anyone. And I will have to put a link below. But my username is OMG, it's Emily. I couldn't do 074, it wouldn't let me. So OMG, it's Emily, is my Facebook name. And on there, I'm going to be, you know, you can actually see photos of my projects and close-ups because I don't have the best webcam. So if you guys want to add me, I would love for you guys to do that. And that's also a way that I can add you to the scrapyard. What you need to do is just add me on Facebook, the OMG, it's Emily, shoot me a quick message, hey, would you mind adding me to Scrapyard, and I'd be more than happy to. So, I want to first of all thank you guys all for all those wonderful comments, and, you know, having my back and feeling the same way that I do. So, with that said, you guys, I have awesome news. So... I made the design team. I'm so excited. I've had a few of you ask you, hey, did you get on the design team? And I found out yesterday around 12 o'clock um, that I made the design team for Whimsy Doodle. It's my local scrapbook store, but this scrapbook store is amazing. I mean, they have every, everything. They get all the new stuff. They don't miss out on, like, anything. Um, they're, this store is known, like, everywhere. That people come to Florida, you know, they will make sure they make a special trip there. So, I'm so excited I got on their design team. I just, I can't believe it. So I'm super excited for that. Um, so you guys will be seeing all the projects that I'm going to be doing. I don't know details yet. They said they're going to um, let us all know this week. So, and it was crazy because I was reading it and there was about eight or nine of us picked. There was a lot, a lot of submissions. So, and mine is the last one because my, my last name starts with a letter in the end of the alphabet. And I was like, oh, I didn't get it on it. And it was the last name. And I was like, oh, my heart was just like, oh, yeah, I made it. So, yeah, my mom was really happy. She told me she, like, started crying. How funny is that? Like, mom, it's okay. It's just a scrapbook design team. Like, it's it's so exciting for me because it's my first design team. And I feel honored. Um, so I'm really excited. So, anyways, let's get on with this video. Um, I've been crazy busy, um, my boyfriend's on his school break, and he is in the medical field, so this break is like the only time that we'll spend together probably for another couple months, so we're kind of just doing our own thing, and I'm not really scrapbooking this week, um, I will be on Friday though, so I apologize for the lack of projects and lack of videos, but I really just need to spend time with him, so we're going to do some fun stuff today. Anyways, let me show you guys a layout. I went to a scrapbook uh, party, but I still had to work, so I was only there so much. But this is the layout I made. <clears throat> and I literally take so many pictures, but I use them so fast because I, I like make stuff every day normally. And so this picture has been scrapbooked so many times, probably like five times, but it's whatever. I needed a picture, and that's the only one I had. So I'm going to go get pictures printed today and take a bunch of pictures. But this is the um, new collection from Echo Park that everybody is, like, freaking out about, including myself. Let me show you a picture. Okay. This is by Allison Kreft, and it's called Every Day. And it's um, by Allison Kreft, and it's made by Echo Park. 
So look how cute. And I'm sorry this is cut out. I actually kept the cover sheet. And these are like, to me, fake me out washi tape kind of. And then I'm going to cut a lot of these doohickeys out. And I'm going to use them. So, um... Ooh, I'm making a mess over here. So here's the layout. All it is is craft paper, and then I drew a line on the edge here. I drew two lines. Um, I sprayed some pink Flat Fabio Lindy Stamp Gang. Down here it says Love MD Molly Doll. And then this is our picture. It says, I love you so much. And these are just sparkly crowns. But it almost makes it look kind of 3D, which is cool. And then this is a sticker from the sheet. And then we have three little um, hearts over here. And this is Together Forever, Capture the Moment. And then I just made three little banners. So it's, like, super simple. And then over here, these I did, like, you know, the fake me out washi tape. And that was from this sheet. So I'm, like... I love that sheet, so I'm so that's the layout. It's just cute and simple, but uh, I thought I would share with you guys. Okay, so next I have a couple hauls. I just got a package um, from Joanne, so let's open that because I don't even know what's in there. So here is the package from Joanne's. I have no idea what I ordered. Um, usually when they do these like free shipping things, I just go ahead and like free shipping, no minimum purchase anyways. I just go ahead and find like, I don't know, one or two things if they're on sale just because it's free shipping. And I don't, I don't really order that much online because shipping unless it's free. Okay, so let's see what I ordered. Oh, cool. It looks like I got some good stuff, you guys. I don't know why it's in such a big box, though. I didn't get that much. Okay, so the first thing I got, let's get it out of the bag here. Um, I was talking to people on the scrap yard, and they were saying how, like, you don't want to use the stays-on stamp cleaner. And I didn't know that it was bad. or I don't really know why it's bad. I don't remember. But it, they just said it's bad. And then they suggested this other stuff. But I couldn't find it. So I just ordered this on joens.com. And it's a water-based stamp cleaner. And if I remember, this was on sale for like $2. Something really cheap. So I figured since it's water-based, it hopefully won't hurt my stamps. And there's a whole lot. This is a really good size. And it says it's bubblegum scented. Let me smell it. Let's, let me spray it. Oh my gosh, it really does smell like bubble gum. That's so crazy. That's cool. And this is just made by Ranger. So um, I'm hoping this will work good. But it was like $2, and they just said that the stays on stamp cleaner was bad. Um, so I was like, oh, great. Because uh -oh. I have some expensive stamps, and I don't want them to get ruined. Okay, next, it looks like I got some Allie Edwards stamps. So these. I do remember these were 50% off when I ordered these, and it was free shipping. So I went ahead and got these. I just love these hearts, these hearts right here. And, of course, the font and everything is really, really cute. So those will definitely get used. And these I also love, more Allie Edwards. Oh, and these were called hearts. This is hearts by Allie Edwards, and these are called Bring on the Sun. And they're all about, like, sunshine and stuff. So just, it's so cute, like, hello, sunshine, you are my sunshine. I just really like these. Um, Those who bring sunshine to the lives of others cannot keep it from themselves. Live in the sunshine, swim the sea, drink the wild air, and then sun equals heart. And there's just a bunch of cute ones. I just love Allie Edwards. I know everybody does for an awesome reason. <gasps> cool, I got this. So... I love these crafters workshop templates. They're awesome. And I prefer the 6x6 six six because I like to store them with my Lindy Stamp Gang. So they conveniently fit in the storage bin that I have versus the 12x12, 12 12, which is not going to fit. And I really wanted this number one. I have a stamp that has numbers over, but I think it would be cool to miss it. So I went ahead and picked this up. These, these were also on sale. Oh, cool. I got this one, too. Here's another crafters workshop. Let me peel this. They always put the um, stickers on. They get their stuff from Notions, um, which is only for wholesale type stuff. That's why they have those stickers on them. This is cool because I loved how little it was. And, you know, you can totally put a piece of paper over these if you only want the stars or, you know, whatever. So that's why I really, really like that one. So it's really cool. 
Okay, and last but not least from the Joanne haul, I still have a couple more. Looks like I got two packs of the canvas panels because I've been doing um, a lot of sheet art and mixed media stuff. And I like um, people order them from me custom, so I like it to be on, you know, a nice quality board. Um, so I went ahead and picked up six of those, and these are just 8 by 10 um, This is the size I like to work with. It's not too small where you can't fit everything, and it's not too big where it's like, oh my god, there's too much space. What do I do? So I like the 8 by 10 especially those of you who are beginners and want to do like sheet art. Um, I really do like the 8 by 10 uh, panel versus a canvas because a canvas is thick, and a panel, you know, you can frame it. You can even put it in a shadow box if you want, or, you know, just store it somewhere. So, and they're... They're, yeah, I would say they're cheaper than the canvases. And I just live in an apartment, so I don't have room for this stuff. Okay, so this is from the scrap yard that I bought. And I think I spent like $3 on this shipped. So that's a great deal. And I don't even think these are used. How cute. And these are called Live in the Moment. And they are just so cute. Okay, this one says, There's no one quite like you. And this is a very good thing. Life, love, and then that surprises live in the moment. But I swear, all our stamps are just amazing. So I got that on the scrap yard for $3. Okay, let me go to this one. Next, um, again, these are all from the scrap yard, what I'm just going to show you. So let me get it out of the box. So it came in a box. And um, my heat tool had died. And I've been using my uh, hair dryer, and I have a like a really high end salon hair dryer. It's like probably six years old, so it used to be, but it works so good. And I know my parents like my mom spent a lot on it. She gave it to me as a gift, so I just I don't want to use it for this stuff. So I went ahead and got a new heat tool that someone was selling on the scrapyard. And it happens to be um, close to my heart. And I don't even care that it's close to my heart. I don't care what brand it is. I just wanted a heat gun. But this one already, like, I don't know. It just feels better quality than the one I had that, like, broke on me after using it a couple times. So I ended up paying the heat gun was 8 And then I think shipping plus packaging was, like, 6 or $7. So I don't know how much these retail. I know at your lands you could probably get on sale for 10 bucks, But... I don't like to go there, so I didn't care. So anyways, I got one of these, and I'm really excited to try it out. Um, so, and then she sent me a Stampin' Up! catalog, too, which was nice. Okay, and then last thing from the scrapyard, which I am so excited about. And she packaged it so cute. Look at the little washi tape. So, this was packaged really cute, but I had to dig into it, because then I saw her, and I was like, oh my god, it can't, it can't make things. So I'm definitely saving the best for last right here, guys. So she had all my stuff tied with um, twine. And look at her business card. It's wood. How cool is that? And it's Trees to Treasure Incorporated. And right there at the bottom is their website. Um, and I will post it in the link below because you guys got to check these out. Super cheap. And they're so cute. And then it also had a little heart. It says made for you. It's just so cute. I love it. And then um, she made this cute little card out of washi. I'm going to copy her and start doing this. Because I also, um, well, I did sell a lot of stuff on the scrapyard. I just haven't lately. I've been too busy. But um, she put, hi, Emily. Thank, thanks so much for your order. I hope you enjoy using these. I just love your fun spirit and your joy of life. Aw, thank you. She's so sweet. But I just love it. It's so cute. So I'm going to put that in my little scrap area. So I like to save anything people make me. Um, okay, so let's get to what she has for sale. Okay, so everyone's going crazy over Studio Calico wood veneers. Well, hers are way more amazing in my opinion. And they're really cheap. They're like between 10 15 I think the most is $0.35 cents a piece. But everything I got, I think I got for like $8 ship. So look how cute these are. I think they were $0.15 cents each. And they're wood. And it's a pretty good size. You can see my hands. These are really like good size. Okay, next I got these super cute airplanes. I've never been on an airplane. And I don't really travel. I would love to. But I just thought these would be cute. So I got two of those. 
Next, I got three of these clouds. They're just really cute. And of course, you know, you can paint these. You can leave them like this. The majority of these I'm probably going to paint, but I love to paint stuff. Look at these bikes. Like how, look at behind on the couch. Look how detailed that is. Like, and it's not breaking. It's, I don't know how it doesn't break. So I got two of those. Oop, I just dropped them. And they still didn't break. I don't know how it's crazy. Because they're quite thin. Which is perfect for scrapbooking because, you know, the dimension starts to build up. Okay, next, I got a handful of stars. Um, I probably got like four or five in there. Okay, then she sent me this little goodie baggie of a bunch of, like, free stuff. Like, look at the bee. There's little stars in there, and there's some little hearts. But that bee is just so cute. See? And then she also sent me this. Like, look how detailed that is. That's crazy. So, um, these are all laser cut. Okay, the next bag in here. Okay, look at this. This is like probably my favorite one. I think this one was 30 cents and it is wood, but see how flexible it is, which is cool. Um, and it's a doily. And I wanted to use this for something. Either on a scrapbook page, or I might try and use it with my molding paste, but it might be too small for that. But either way, it's going to get used. It's just, it's so detailed. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, next, I got this hot air balloon. Try and hold it on this side so you guys can see the couch better. Everything's, like, opposite on my screen. That's why I'm always, like, weirded out when I move stuff. Look at this from Molly Doll. She doesn't have a dog house. You, I'm sure you guys have seen her house. It's it's like a castle. It's a pink castle, and it says princess. It's it's nicer than my bed. She's such a brat. Then I got this cute guitar, and I got an electric guitar. And these are cool. I know these are really popular right now. Um, these typewriters, the old school one, and I got two of those. And then, look at this camera. I should have got more of these cameras. Next time I will. These are really cute. But I, I hadn't ordered from her, so, you know, I just wanted to kind of try some things out. And I got two small of the typewriters, and I'll show you guys the difference in size. So It's a good it's a good size. I don't know which size I like better. Maybe this one, but I'm not sure. And, of course, I had to get these. I mean, the love of my life is my dog. No offense to my boyfriend. I love you, but... Sorry, Molly is my baby. <laughs> He's she's his baby too now, but um I got these cute dog bones and I've got I got four of them because she's almost in and I got five of them. She's in like every picture I've ever taken anyways. So these will for sure get used up. So they're perfect size and they're so cute. Okay, and the last thing I got was I'm trying to keep up with the trends. They are always changing. There's so much new stuff that comes out. But these potty people are really popular, and I've been trying to find some, but everywhere was, like, sold out, so I couldn't get my hands on any. And I'm glad because, you know, I ordered it from her. And look how cute. So these are the girls. I think they're, like, $0.10 cents a piece, so I got three girls. And they're, per they're perfect size. They're not too big. I like them. And then I got three guys. So I just thought they were cute. And then she also included this little gift. How cute are these? So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Um, I'll make sure I put the link to this store below as well as my Facebook. So please add me on Facebook, guys. Um, just make sure you add on my new one, not my personal one. And I'm glad you guys didn't take it offensively that I deleted um, you guys. I'm still going through and deleting people, but... I'm just taking precautions. So thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to scrap a crop this Friday. And I'm getting my pictures printed today. So I promise I will have tons and tons of projects to share. I hope. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.